The first event on the English OnStar server just ended and I've been getting a lot of people asking if they have enough Dia to get a future 5 star, how much Dia they need to get a future 5 star, and there are just too many factors for me to just say yes or no to you. I did think it would be beneficial and a nice resource if I just shared the math that I personally do to make sure that I am like prepared for events. And the thing about this equation, if you will, is it's not just applicable to OnStars, but essentially any video game event where you earn prizes via accumulating points over the course of a few days. I wanted to make a video where it is just exclusively this, so it's easy to find and you can easily look back to it instead of remembering which of Aaron's explanation videos had this in it. While I think the equation itself, if I can even call it that, is somewhat confusing, I do hope that like my vocal cues and like me talking through my walk down, walk through, if you will, will make it easier to follow. So the first thing you need to take into consideration is the number of points you need for whatever item you want. And the first copy of the five star is at 3,500,000 event points. And if you want multiple copies, all you would have to do is swap out that number with however many points you need for however many copies you want. Then you divide that number by the number of days in the event. And OnStars ones are eight days and I divided it and there you can see that I got an exact number but I rounded it up just so I could have some cushion room and I feel like 500,000 is an easier number to keep track of. Once again, that's me personally. You can do it how you want, but I'm going to use 500,000 as my per day variable throughout the rest of this equation. Once again, you just have to plug in things as they relate to you. My numbers might not be the same as your numbers, yada, 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 yeehaw. <laughs> Next, you divide your daily goal or per day number, whatever, by the number of event points you earn per song or battle. Like I said, this could apply for many different games. And Ensemble Stars use BP to earn event points and you need to keep track of how many BP you use when you get your number of points per song. People have also asked me how much BP they should use. Should I use one, three, 10? Personally, I use 10 just because it saves time. But if you wanna to try to like do that strategy where you want to prioritize leveling up so you can get more BP that way, I would suggest using three because it's currently early in game. It's probably a lot easier to level up, so it is viable, but please do not do just one BP. I've done the math in the past and granted the math could be wrong and I can't find it and I'm not planning on redoing it, but I did the math and it was literally impossible to play on one BP, even if you were to play throughout the entire night, every single day, you would not be able to play enough to get the number of event points you need for even one copy of a five star. So please do not play on one BP. If anything, play on three. Personally, I play on 10, but I digress. The reason you need to keep track of how much BP you use is because the amount of BP you use directly correlates with the amount of Dia you spend. So because I use 10 BP and it is 20 Dia on the English version for one BP, it's 200 Dia. Now I'm just plugging in numbers. I don't remember exactly how much I earn per song. So I know it was at least more than 20,000. So I just plugged that in. And after I divided it, the number I got was 25. So hypothetically, I would have to play whatever song I got the event point number from 25 times on 10 BP to reach my daily goal. Then I multiplied 25 by the amount of Dia I use on BP because, you know, I think I said it earlier, I don't know why I keep repeating myself, but 200 Dia times 25 plays is 5,000 Dia. So that means to reach my daily goal, I would have to use about 5,000 Dia. Then I multiplied it by the number of days that there are in the event, which is eight. So roughly I would need 40,000 Dia in order to get one copy of the event card. I know what you're thinking, 40,000? But listen, when I say this is a rough estimate, I really mean rough because there are a lot of other factors that you need to take into consideration. You would get the BP that you earn over time. So if you were to take a break, you would get BP, which saves you a few Dia. There's also the event song. Um, personally, I like to save up my pass and play on like, I think they changed it to 2,000 on the English version. I'm not sure why, but I like to save to 2,000 to just save time. I play each difficulty at 100 pass just because Dia, and then everything else I save so I can play it as few times as possible. Like granted, you do like 
get Dia for playing 10 times, but personally, I don't care about that. It's a preference. Play how you want. Also, the event as you play it, the more you play, it gives you BP items, so that also will save you quite a bit of Dia in the long run. There is also work. If you are actually trying to go for the five star, I highly, highly, highly recommend doing the work. With using no BP, you automatically get 250 event points for each time. And I know it doesn't sound like very much, but I promise you it does stack up over time and it really is a help. And please do not use BP for this. I didn't mention this in my last how to get a five star tutorial. And I only realized that today and I really regret doing that because there's some people who are like, oh, I use BP on work. Don't do that. It is not worth it at all. Once again, I did the math in the past. I don't have it with me right now, so I can't use it as an example here, but you just earn exponentially more playing songs. So please don't use your BP on work. Use your BP exclusively for beat maps and song playing. And also the English version has talents. And I actually didn't really check if like the number of points you earn from the talent is also included in the number of event points you use. And because I'm unsure, I probably shouldn't have added it here. But I also feel like it'd be weird if it didn't. I don't know, but there are talents that you can level up in different ways. So the longer you play, the stronger your cards are, which makes your team stronger, which means the event points you earn will be a lot more and it'll save you Dia in the long run. So like I said, this is a very rough number. There are other factors that'll help you get points and you will use a lot less than this. But for more approximates, this is just an example for you to input your own stuff and it gives you a nice cushion so you know that if you at least have 40k you're basically definitely going to get the five star so yes i also wrote out the equation here for you to use just so you can like easily input your own numbers first my example numbers once again being used down here so just a visual with numbers to go along with the words and then I also color coded it. Well, hopefully once again, like my voice and like walking through it made it easy for this to understand. But if not, hopefully the colors work. And if the colors don't work, I'm sorry. And yeah, hopefully this will let you do the math by yourself. And if you are bad at math, you can ask a friend to do it for you or help you out. I hope you found this video helpful. If you feel so inclined, I do have a Kofi, a coffee, a Kofi. I don't know how you say it. I personally like calling it Kofi on my brain because it's like Wi-Fi, but I have a coffee where you can quote unquote buy me a coffee or tip me. I don't promote it enough. I should promote it. This is me promoting it. Yeehaw. Good luck on future events. Hopefully this was helpful. Goodbye.